We human beings need each other. We depend on our in-group for so much, we can be fearful of other in-groups, other traditions, and other cultures. This fear of other in-groups can be used against us, making all of us less safe and endangering the peace of our communities. A few years ago, our Muslim neighbors were planning to build a mosque and community center in Mukilteo, Washington. They not only wanted a place to pray for themselves, as the First Amendment allows, but as a resource for the entire community. One man, though, overcome by fear of other in-groups amplified by anti-Muslim hate groups, sent anonymous postcards to over 10,000 homes there. Overcome by fear, he spread fear to his fellow citizens, seeking to stop the building of the mosque. But fear and division would not have the last word. For 16 years, this same group of Muslims had been in relationship with a few local churches. Past to Understanding and the Faith Action Network were invited in to help support the Muslim community in Mukilteo. PTU helped to develop a strategy for local response and to help lead community forums. The Faith Action Network encouraged local, state, and national elected leaders to stand for the First Amendment, human rights, and our common humanity. Later that year, the Faith Action Network gave their Interfaith Leadership Award to many of the leaders who supported the mosque, but FAN did more than just give out awards. They were a critical part of a movement to counter anti-Muslim bigotry in Washington State. Fear of other in-groups can be used to divide us, but we know what drives out fear. Relationship, courage, solidarity, and love in the public square. The partnership between the Faith Action Network and Paths to Understanding began in Mukilteo, but it has continued to develop since then. When a national anti-Muslim hate group planned a rally in Seattle, FAN, the Church Council of Greater Seattle, Paths to Understanding, and the American Muslim Empowerment Network, as well as members of the Christian, Muslim, and Jewish communities, gathered to create a positive response. Over 600 people gathered in Seattle to stand with their Muslim neighbors. Less than 50 people came to rally for fear and division. As PTU and the American Muslim Empowerment Network proposed a statewide speaking tour called Faith Over Fear, FAN co-sponsored the tour, helped us to make connections with local faith leaders across the state, and helped promote the events. The Faith Action Network played a pivotal role in helping our speaking tours reach over 10,000 people across the state. As PTU helps to foster partnerships between people of all wisdom traditions, we encourage them to become a part of the Faith Action Network to bring their shared values into the public square together. As we grow in relationship, courage, solidarity, and love, we begin to realize that we are all part of one larger in-group. We're all part of a beautiful and diverse humanity. And I'm proud to say that the mosque broke ground in Mukilteo in beginning of 2021. And they will soon, in the next couple of years, have that building finished, be able to pray, and to strengthen their local community there. Well, now our partnership with the Faith Action Network is going to a new level with the creation of how to advocate for change course on the paths network we hope this course will help you to build your skills and confidence in bringing your deep values into the public square with other partners because together we can drive out fear with love create just and effective policies and honor the inalienable rights and humanity of everyone